we have an update to breaking news that we've been following all morning long. Two officers were shot this morning in Champaign and then taken to the hospital. We are just learning at least one officer has died. We do have team coverage right now. WCIA 3's Karina Rubio is live in Champaign. Jamie Mays is at Carl Hospital in Urbana. Jamie, we'll begin with you. Can you tell us what's happening there? Right, Christy, we are outside of Carl, where law enforcement is lined up outside of Carl Hospital. You can see them right now, lights flashing. The police department is here, fire department here. Um, clearly, people outside, as we were walking up, we could see that they were shaken, upset. We have confirmation from the chief of police that the officer who died was 44-year-old Chris Oberheim. He passed away due to um, injuries that he sustained while on duty. We're still waiting to learn more about so the other officer who was sent to the hospital. He was sent to the, to the hospital in stable condition. Um, the chief of police says Officer Oberheim joined the Champaign Police Department in September of 2008. He started his career at the Decatur Police Department. Right now, we're still trying to get more information about that other officer. People out here clearly upset, shaken about what happened. We're going to update you with more details as they become available. Live in Urbana, Jamie Mays, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Jamie, thank you so much. And Karina, you've been at Town Center Apartments all morning long. Can you tell us how this all started and what happened there? Yeah, Christy, this first unfolded at around 3.30 this morning when those two officers responded to this area right here at Town Center Apartments. It's been taped off for the past six hours, more than six hours, as police continue to investigate this. Dozens of officers have been coming in and out of this scene from several agencies, including Champaign, Urbana, UIPD departments, but Illinois State Police are the main is the main agency handling this investigation. There have been some troops, uh, sheriff's deputies here as well. Now, authorities say when those two officers arrived here, they did come across somebody that was armed, the suspect, and those two officers did exchange fire. The suspect was hit and died here at the scene, and those two officers were rushed to the hospital. But as we mentioned, one of those officers is now dead. I have been seeing several officers just comforting each other here, hugging each other and giving each other pats on the back. Certainly a difficult time for them today as well. We will continue to cover this story throughout the day. Make sure you stay with WCIA 3 online and on air for all those updates. Reporting live in Champaign, Karina Rubio, WCIA 3, your local news leader. And we did get word from Chief Anthony Cobb, and he says that Officer Oberheim uh, only intention was to serve, protect, and provide care before he was senselessly fired upon and killed. Officer Oberheim joined the Champaign Police Department in September of 2008. After starting his career with the Decatur Police Department, Chief Cobb calls him a true professional and devoted public servant. Officer Oberheim is remembered for his heroism, bravery, and the oath of office he honorably upheld in his commitment to duty. We will continue to follow Follow this throughout the day, so be sure to stay with us on air and online. We'll be right back.
Watching your local news leader. This is the morning show on WCIA 3 News. Well, we have an update to breaking news that we have been following all morning long. Two officers were shot this morning in Champaign and then taken to the hospital. We are just learning at least one of those officers has in fact died. We have team coverage right now. WCIA 3's Karina Rubio is live in Champaign. Jamie Mays is at Carl Hospital in Urbana. Jamie, we can see the row of first responder vehicles behind you. Can you tell us what's happening? Christy, we got out here probably about an hour ago, and these officers, law enforcement, have been out here lined up, lights flashing ever since then. We've just learned from the chief of police that the officer who died was 44-year-old Chris Oberheim. He joined the department in 2008. Before that, he served for the Decatur Police Department. He was struck, he was, um, he was shot early this morning, and the Champaign Police Department says that his intention was to serve, protect, and help provide care before he was senselessly killed upon and senselessly fired upon and killed. Right now, we're seeing several sirens going through right now. We can see the lights flashing. We saw people who were crying outside of the hospital, visibly upset about what happened. We're going to update you more about the condition of the other officer who was also sent to the hospital. He was sent to the hospital in stable condition. We'll have more information about how he's doing later on this evening. Live in Urbana, Jamie Mays, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Jamie, thank you so much. And Karina, you've been at Townsend Center Apartments all morning where this happens. Yeah, this all started at 3.30 this morning. Karina, can you tell us what happened there? Yeah, Christy, ever since 3.30 this morning, officers have been investigating. They have been over here for over six hours at this point. You can see that they still have the area taped off where this happened. Now, the crime scene unit van as well as the coroner's office van have since left the scene, but there are still um, several officers here. The main agency handling this is Illinois State Police. Authorities say those two officers responded here for a domestic dispute early in the morning they came across somebody that was armed and that's when the suspect and those two officers exchanged gunfire that suspect was hit on the scene and died here and as we mentioned those two officers were rushed to the hospital now we will continue to follow this story online and on air make sure you stay with wci3 news for all of those updates throughout the day reporting live in champaign karina rubio wci3 your local news leader and as Jamie mentioned, we did just get word um, from Chief, Chief Anthony Cobb, um, and he did say it is with great sadness and a heavy heart. I announced Champaign Police Officer Chris Oberheim, 44 years old, badge number 703, passed away due to injuries sustained while on duty. Such a sad incident this morning here as well. He went on to say that Officer Oberheim was struck by gunfire while responding to a domestic disturbance like Jamie just mentioned earlier. His only intention was to serve, protect, and help provide care before he was senselessly fired upon and then killed there. He is asking that the officer's family and other Champaign police officers and their families um, they are asking for privacy at this time because, of course, it is a very difficult time for the family. We also did just learn um, that the, his, he has four children um, and they went to Monticello schools and the Sages did send out a note to uh, families there. Um, one of them is a graduate, another one is in 12th grade, and two girls in 8th grade. Certainly a sad story that we are going to be following all morning long, all afternoon, all evening here as well. We will have more details coming up tonight on WCI 3 News. We'll be right back.
Well, if you're just joining us this morning, we are covering breaking news to an officer involved shooting. We are learning that at least uh, one officer has died. Two were shot this morning and then taken to the hospital. We are learning uh, again that at least one officer has died. We have team coverage this morning. WCIA 3's Karina Rubio has been live at the apartment complex that this happened in Champaign all morning long. Jamie Mays is now at Carl Hospital. Jamie, we can see the lights behind you um, earlier today. Can you tell us what's happening at the hospital? Christy, what we found out just minutes ago was that 44-year-old Christopher Overheim did die sometime today when he was sent to the hospital. He was sent to the hospital in critical condition. Another officer was sent to the hospital in stable condition. We're still waiting to hear more about the officer who was sent in stable condition, but what we do know is that both officers were responding to a domestic dispute earlier this morning. There was a suspect that fired. One officer died. As I mentioned earlier, the other, the other officer was sent to the hospital in stable condition. Oberheim was on duty. They mentioned the Champaign Police Department mentioned that he was here to serve, protect, and help provide care before he was senselessly killed and shot at. Right now, we're outside of Carl Hospital. People are lined up. Law enforcement as is out here. We're going to update you with more information as it becomes available live in Urbana. Jamie Mays, WCIA 3, your local news leader.